everybody welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for tuning into this video today um, I know I have been gone from social media for quite some time so today um, because I have been gone for a long time I decided to come back onto YouTube with a video just letting you guys know where I've kind of been and what my life looks like right now because a lot of things have drastically changed so um, I'm definitely here to just let you guys know what's going on and I will be doing a makeup tutorial. I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and get right started and if you hear noises that's my puppy. <laughs> so if you hear a little whining or if you hear him eating food or like squeaking like playing with his toys he's like gated off with a little puppy gate in my kitchen so just letting you guys know. Before I get started go ahead and subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and also follow my other social medias which I will link right here. I have my Instagram and my Twitter at Ken's Cosmetics, so if you guys can just go ahead and follow that as well, I would appreciate it. I'm gonna go ahead and get started right now. Okay, so I went ahead and just pinned my hair out of my face, because I cannot do my makeup with hair in my face. I don't know about y'all, but people who sit there with their like hair hanging over their face and they're just like blending out their foundation, like, those people. Okay, so... I'm gonna go ahead and just get started, start prepping my face and start doing my makeup. As you guys already know, I have taken quite a bit of break from social media lately. Um, not that I really wanted to, but just with everything going on in my life, I simply did not have time for it. It really sucks. I mean, honestly, having a busy schedule and then trying to do like YouTube and blogging it's very challenging, especially when you have a full-time job and you're a college student. It's just, it's very mentally exhausting. If you didn't know already, um, I have a boyfriend and we live together. We've been together for like four years, going on five years. So in July, um, we went apartment hunting and it took us like quite a bit of while like to actually find some place that we really, really liked. But we finally found a place for a decent price. They're really nice apartments, um, very basic, but super nice for the price that we pay. So why I kind of had to take a break from social media was because when we made this move to our apartment, it was really kind of random, a random time in our lives to do that. It's kind of why we we're in the middle of doing everything, getting everything together. So it was a really stressful time. That's why I haven't really been on social media. Um, just been trying to move, get everything together, get our little apartment together, get our bills together, our life together. And so, yeah, I, I guess I could say, um, I guess I could pretty much say that life just got super busy for me. So, um, that's that. Um, for our anniversary, he got me like the best present of all, which is the little guy that you've probably been hearing the entire background of my video. His name is Cosmo and he is the cutest puppy ever and I love him so much. Like he's so sweet. I'm gonna zoom you in so that you can see what I'm doing as I'm talking. We're gonna go ahead and start on my eyes today. So I'm gonna be using Juvia's palette and it's the Zulu palette. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. These colors are so pretty. I love Juvia's place but the one thing I don't like is that they don't have names for their colors. And like, that's kind of important to me personally. I really love seeing names, but um, yeah, I'm just taking this corner purple one right here. It's kind of a dark purple and um, their colors are super vivid. So it's gonna go on pretty, pretty well. And if you don't know already, I am a college student. Um, I live in San Antonio, Texas right now. So I'm going to college here. I'm going to college for business. Um, I wanna eventually own my own makeup line or something to do with beauty all I know is that I really want to get into business and I really want to be a part of things so that's what I'm headed for me and my boyfriend we have this really huge goal that we're aiming for by next August we actually want to move out of Texas together and we want to move up to Colorado we forward to that so that is our goal for next August is we want to have enough money saved so that we're able to move by that time so I've just been really working super hard and trying to focus on money and um, yeah, girl, struggling. Now I'm going in with this orange color and I'm kinda gonna go over the purple that I made to blend all these harsh lines out. And I hope this works out because orange and purple is a very interesting color combination that I don't think I've tried before. So here it goes, I guess.
blending out the purple right up into the orange. Okay, this is looking good. It's like, ooh, it's colorful, okay. I'm also mixing a little yellow into the orange just to kind of give it a more like kind of burnt effect. I'm gonna go in with that brown shade from the Zulu palette and go right in my crease right where the purple and the orange meet each other to try and kind of blend that out. So, um, me and my boyfriend have seriously been together for forever. We've been together for so long. Well, it feels like a long time. It feels like forever, honestly. But we've been together for four years, going on five. And um, let me know if you guys want to see a boyfriend video or a boyfriend tag. Because I definitely need to introduce him to my YouTube family. Um, I definitely want you guys to know everything about him. So if you guys have any questions about our relationship, anything like that that you might want me to make a video on, please comment down below. Next, for my look, I'm going to be taking this champagne kind of color from Julia's palette, the same Zulu palette. And I'm going to be tapping that all over my cut crease and I'm going to blend out that same dark purple shade in my outer corner of the cut crease. Oh my god. This is so pretty. Wow, this is really gorgeous. I love this. Okay, I'm going back on my blending brush to blend the same purple shade on the outer to kind of blend the corner together. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other cut crease on my other eye real quick. And just a little quick tip for you guys, whenever you're actually creating your cut crease, all you have to do is take your concealer, dab it on your eyelid, and then look all the way up, and it literally creates the crease for you. And that line that it touches on the upper half of your lid, that means that's where you need to stop for the cut crease. So you only go as high as that line goes. And then if you pat it, you don't have to blend the concealer out with like a blender or anything. Like just pat it down with the brush. I've just been so busy lately and it's very hard to find any type of time to dedicate towards my hobby. And um, just know that like I'm always trying and I'm always constantly thinking about what I'm going to be doing. I really hope you guys like this look. It's turning out really nice. Um, if you can't see it too well, like, I'm gonna be putting like close-up shots in the video as well. But um, there's a lot of like purple hues in here and then it's mixed with the orange and yellow and it's very aesthetic. It's a very different type of color combo. So I hope you like it. So I already primed my face with this Wet n Wild um, Dewy Face Primer, which I love this. It's so affordable and it really works. It's so sticky. It really holds on to the foundation. I love it. And um, I actually have been using a new type of foundation than I ever have before. I was wanting to try the stick foundation for so long from Makeup Revolution and I finally picked it up a few weeks ago. I've been using it every single day since I got it and I'm so in love with it. It's the best foundation I've used, honestly. It's super, super creamy. It's super, super light. But it like, it has the best buildable coverage and like, you know how some foundations, once you put it on, like you can't add more to it because it's just gonna start looking cakey. Well, this one is not like that. Like, you could keep packing on, you could do your foundation and then touch up your foundation later. Like, it would be totally okay. I wouldn't mess it up or anything. So that's why I really love this foundation. Um, plus, it's super, super easy and quick to apply. 
and it looks more like my actual skin versus like a mask if you know what I mean so I really really love this foundation it's super soft and silky I'm just gonna go ahead and blend my foundation out with my beauty blender I'm going to be using also by makeup revolution their dupe for the Tarte Wow why do I drop everything in every single video I drop something This is the dupe for the Tarte Tape Shape Concealer, and I swear, guys, it really is the dupe. Like, it's so full coverage, it's super buildable, and it's really creamy. Um, I, I think the applicator is my favorite part, though. It has that same super, super thick applicator, and I need a lot of concealer, so to have a super thick applicator, it's like, it's freaking awesome. So. Um, this is in the shade C1. I am one of the lightest shades. I believe the second to lightest shade. I'm not positive on that though. I'd have to check. But um, I really love this stuff. It's super creamy. Uh, super buildable. I really hope that um, I'm going to be able to do videos more often. Um, I definitely am going to keep you guys updated. If you don't follow me on Twitter already, please go follow it. I will link all of my social media again at the end of my video. Please, please go follow my Twitter for updates on my personal life. Um, that's really the only social media outlet where I really talk to you guys about my life more than I do makeup. So if you want to get to know more about who I personally am, then that's the place you would find out. So please again, um, subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and go check out my other social media. I will also link down below in the description box. I'm gonna be going in with the CoverGirl translucent powder. This is the one I would use. Um, I have a few other translucent powders, but I just, I guess, just wanted to use this one for this look. I can't do my makeup without baking under my eyes. That is what I will be doing. So what I do is I bake my face and then with the leftover powder in here, I just swipe that over the places I don't bake, like my forehead, uh, my cheeks. Uh, now I'm gonna be taking this part collection and um, I think I use this every single time I do a video, especially on my Instagram videos. I always use this one. That's because it um, has like the best bronzer ever. So this bronzer is by Tarte and it's in shade Forbidden. And it's literally perfect for pale to medium skin tones. So if you guys are looking for like um, a name brand bronzer that's really good but still like kind of affordable, I definitely go for this one. Again, it's in shade Forbidden. Um, I can also link it down below in the description box as well. So now I'm going to go in with a blush, and it's from the same exact Tarte collection, and the blush shade is called Mysterious. It's right up here. It's kind of like a mauve pink. Um, it's definitely not like, like, bam, like, wow. Like, it's not a big, bright color. It's a very subtle pink, um, but it really shows up well on my skin tone. So if you guys are a light to medium skin tone, you would probably like this as well. They're one of the first companies that have sent me any type of PR, so I'm just like blown away. They really have amazing products. On um, the last PR box they sent me, it was with um, some highlighter products, and it's the Pixie Glowy Gossamer Duo, and this is in shade Subtle Sunrise. And I'm using an Ulta blush brush, but I love to use it as my highlighter brush. And I'm just going to go all over my cheekbone with that. You know how much I love the highlight. I really overdo it. Pretty much done here. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and add my lipstick. Today 
today's choice will be the BH Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick, and this is going to be in the shade Muse. They're heavenly, they don't dry your lips out, and I really strive for that because it's really hard to make a formula that's like matted but doesn't dry your lips out. So here is my final look. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that I have been gone for a while, so I really hope you enjoy seeing something new from me. Um, if you guys have any questions about this look or just about anything, really, you're welcome to ask me any kind of question you want. Um, just go ahead and comment below. Um, but go ahead and please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and follow me on my other social medias as well, which I, again, will link right here. Um, but I just want to really thank you guys. I hope you truly understand that my busy schedule is really hard to work with, but that does not mean I'm going to stop YouTube. I'm going to keep pushing, keep trying to do my best and upload as many times as I can. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you got to know me a little bit and I'm super excited to make my next video. So I just want to thank you guys again so much.